Are you ready to speak to your molding professional, such as Zometry's injection molding services? These three main concepts will help streamline communication and sign off before making your tool. Parting, ejection, and gating, often called PEG or PEG. As before, I'm going to let a part do the talking. I found this wall picture hanger on the hardware aisle while shopping and I picked it up because it's a great demonstrator of all these injection molding principles. So let's take a closer look. Parting, ejection, and gating all describe tool making approaches that affect the outcome of your part. Professional tool makers may present a PEG report specific to your project. Parting will describe the tool construction for where to expect a parting line. This is important for describing where draft angles may be required, as well as where you may see small seams on your manufactured parts. In this case, the piece produced is using a two-part mold. There's a main parting line along the outside edge, as well as distinct lines around each area where there was a pass-through core feature. The parting lines on core features are also known as shutoffs describing where the corn cavity must be flush to prevent any excess material or flash along those seams. Have you ever looked at the non-cosmetic side of your molded product and seen these little circles? Those are locations of ejector pins. The E in PEG is for ejection and will be discussed between you and the motor where the pins will be located to evenly push your part outside of the mold after each cycle. On this part here, I actually see ejection pins at every intersection along this densely cored feature, as well as large pins used on these peninsulite features, because we want to actually release the part evenly all at once. Lastly, you and your motor will discuss gating, where the liquid plastic will flow into the cavity and make your parts. This part here is edge gated with two locations visible right on the side right here. Gate locations are sometimes on the edge and they're sometimes on the cosmetic side of the part. Gates may be square, round, or even just look like a small dimple on the part. The way the part is gated depends on its size and production needs. Small parts may have only one gate, while larger parts can require several for a proper fill. This is because every injection molding cycle is a race between the molten plastic filling the cavity while it's actually cooling. The way that a part is gated depends on its size and its production needs. Small parts may only have one gate, while large parts can require several for proper fill. Gates can also be added for cosmetic reasons, such as moving where the knit will be, which is where the molten plastic meets during molding. Excess material on the gate, known as a runner, will be snipped off. With more expensive hot runner gates, there will be minor dimples where the material is injected without the need for this type of trimming. If you have questions, Zometry's professional molding team will have answers. We are experts at guiding you through injection molding projects, no matter the size and scope. Visit Zometry's website for more tips, design guides, and expert consultation.